We're back in Midgard. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look! Now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. I don't think we should disturb Yomangandar without some reason. You take a wrong turn, brother. Realm travel room's back up top. Who knows how long we'll be gone? Get it up. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Tyr brought Odin to Jotunheim. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Tears, braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Hmm. We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read.
So what happened after Odin was cast out of the Odin house? Trust me. Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared. No giants could be found in Midgard. And no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? Let's get to it. You want? Too careful now. Very proudly, you son of a bitch. Got what you wanted. About that other thing. Something else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. Ha. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, 
Let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock did Sindri! Hey, guys. Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry. Will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? <laughs> We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Time to make sure you once more to the horn. still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you roll into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. Hmm. 
So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. This is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. Bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. There's something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Hi. Most of it. We can beach over here. There, the hammer. over there.
Come here. Any idea where Odin hid your eyes? No. It's not like I can still see through it. Yep, that's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head, for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. And the travel run is here too. You want to go? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? That was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. 
The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel! <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, <laughs> I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You. I'll deal with you later. But family first. This again. Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! 
Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this! Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now? He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. Oh, 
to do this! There! Stop him! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What? Oh, 
boy. Well done, boy. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, you've seen me dead. We'll make things right. I won't stop you. <laughs> I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. 
does he? Boy! Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. We are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. Killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Oh! <laughs> 
that's it then.
one got up. Freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. Fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. Putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures. Perhaps if we can free more of them. You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Mm. That's the spirit.
again. The tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? What you need, kid? There's something else. Now you're talking. That's it. Here we go. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. 
But if someone were to fight- My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did? What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all of the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. 
This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. I mean, you missed it. sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else?
convinced the Giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah. Remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang. Get Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find him. Well, see you next time you need something. sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. <sighs> what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Let's see. That stuff. Weird. Yes. A strange material. Ah! Fan I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible. Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous.